Hey guys, so start out by taking the insert out just like this. And this is on the latest DWE7485 job site table saw. Some of the other models apply here too. This is just the latest model that DeWalt sells. They claim that a data stack cannot be used with this, but that's, that's purely because the arbor nut is not going to have enough threads for the nut. But I'm going to show you in this video, there are enough threads. It's just depending on what you prefer and if you're wanting to take that risk. It's totally doable, as you'll see. Um, so go ahead and follow along with me. You'll take out the riving knife, just like I showed. Um, there's a mechanism back there you just want to push in, and then you can take that out. Now go ahead and take the wrenches that we had just previously taken out that are in the back of the job site table saw, and you're going to want to pull towards you as you loosen the nut. Now, I'm not entirely sure after you loosen this nut what this other piece is called, but you're just going to want to take it off as well so that you can expose the blade. If you guys are liking this so far, go ahead and subscribe, like, or comment. I'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway for $100, so if you guys want a part of that, go ahead and subscribe. So right here, I'm using the Freud Dado 6-inch stack, and this is the right-hand blade. As you can see, the arrow is going to be, the blade is going to be spinning towards you, so that arrow is to signify that. Now this is the left hand side if you're looking at the table saw. So I'm going to put this one in first so that as the blade is spinning it's coming towards me. So the left one goes in first up on that arbor bolt that I was talking about earlier. And there's different configurations you can use to do th different thicknesses. But in my case I want to show the thickest stack up that I felt comfortable doing and that's a 3 8 thick stack up. So you're gonna to wanna to take the middle chipper and align it so that it's missing the left hand blades and then take the right hand cutter and put that up to sandwich the chipper that you just put on. And all these blades should be coming towards you. So now I'm gonna align this so that they're all missing each other and just make sure that whenever you're screwing it in and tightening down the bolt, that these stay aligned just as I'm about to show here, just like that. So you're gonna to wanna to put this piece back on and then I'm gonna place the nut on and tighten it down, making sure that none of the blades moved. And the one thing I wanna highlight is that the threads on this nut are flush with the nut. There's no way I personally can go thicker on this dado stack and feel comfortable because the threads are not all engaged. You could technically go thicker, and I'll show here after I tighten this and put the insert on. You're gonna need a zero clearance insert so that it doesn't run into the edge of this insert. The other thing I wanted to show here is this is 3 8 If you wanna go thicker, you're more than welcome to. It's just at your own risk. Actually, all this is at your own risk because DeWalt does not suggest you do a dado stack at all. But as you can see here, it's totally fine in my opinion. So what I was going for here is I was trying to do a test piece to make sure that when I used the 3 8 slot that the 3 8 plywood I had was going to go ahead and insert into the dado stack groove after it had been cut. If it didn't work I was going to have to take the 364 thick blade and just continually run it down the boards. But in my case and as you can see hopefully in your case 3 8 is totally fine and works perfect.